The next generation is not gonna know what to think. Oh yes, we do have three real characters in the building. Two Mega Mans, insane. Yeah, and it looks like they're starting off with Mega Man. Wait, wait, dude. MPG is the one playing Sora. What? Yeah, I saw the tag too. Cause I saw the PT and I was like, oh, I didn't know uh, Kameme had a PT. And then I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> that says Kasale yeah. and not AP. Interesting. That's crazy. And then Kamemi with a Pirate Mithra and a Wolf. Yeah, this guy wants to win. He does want to win, but also no Sora, no yeah. Sheik, no characters that we know from Kamemi, no Wario. Oh. This is a very weird lineup from both of these guys. I, MPG, I didn't know his secondaries at all coming into this one. So this is a huge question mark for me. Yeah. No, that, he, I feel like his secondaries are shaped by the, the Philippines, but I don't know where he's getting the store from, so. Right, Definitely yeah. shocking. PT, you got Beast, and also just a pretty good pick up and play character. Yeah. Pretty good pick up and play three characters. Yo, how do you have five characters on your squad strike roster, yeah. bro? You're cheating right now. But I guess Kamehameha has four. Yeah. Hey, just, just being able to transport between those two characters. Yeah, 4v5 squad strike match. Nothing to see here, folks. All right, now we're seeing the sword, or oh, not the sword, the Mega Man come up first. And we saw it. That with ZD, the ability to just like steamroll through your opponent secondaries. So, great idea coming out. And let's see if Kamehameha can do it with him taking the first stock right here. Oh, oh. MPG looking like he does have those for a second though. Yeah. Oh, okay, I like that. That was that was gaming, dude. Yeah. Sword, definitely not a sleeper. He definitely looked like Kamehameha. He's like, I can do what you can do. Right, yeah, I love how he jacked the other top Mega Man players secondary <laughs> from him. Okay. And I, again, I still just cannot believe the lineup that Kameme is working with here. I think if MPG is able to take this first stock, I, again, I have no idea how good his Pirate Mithra or Wolf are, yeah. but it could get out of hand very quickly. Yeah, this will definitely be our first time seeing it here. Uh, we we did see the Pirate Mithra, I think, when he did oh, go yeah. Okay. Uh, yes, against Zomba, yeah. yeah. He lost with them, but he was kind of doing it. Yeah. So, you're seeing the Pirate Mithra now come out. That might have gave it inspiration right there for him to play it. And Sora Pirate Mithra, definitely not a fun matchup for Sora. Pirate definitely has the ability to kill Sora pretty early because of how float he is and how high he usually is in the air. And Mithra, definitely a matchup nightmare with uh, just how fast she is. 100%. And if you do get caught in the Nair loops, you actually have a really good option to get out of them, and that's just mashing on Foresight. So if Kameme is saying on Mithra, then we can see that. But no, he's going to just clean up the stock with the Pirate, getting it done. He understands Sora's weaknesses, and you know what? Probably even better, he understands Mega Man's. So we'll see what he's able to do. Oh, I love that. The RAR into the back air. It's going to get you the optimal damage if you go into up B, or you just get more back airs. Yeah. It's much better as a combo tool than her fair. Yeah, and we definitely saw like how quick, or not, or how MPG deal with his Mega Man. We've now seen Kamehameha kind of snuff out MPG's Mega Man with the Pirate Mithra, just the ability to just like use the, his sword and just like say, deny him answers. But I do like that cheeky recovery, just using the back air to come back to stage. Right there. Just keeping MPG in the corner. It has been tough, Max, for MPG right now. Yeah, Kamehameha in a huge, huge lead right now. And by MPG, just getting the stock, just managing to give him with that unfortunate air dodge. And the Z drop, a whole double up air. He knows what to do, not jump in that situation. Oh, the raw call out with the flash. Okay. Okay, dude. I'm with it. Any wolf that goes for that, automatically raw. That's a real one. Yeah. Yep. You have my respect. Okay, Kameme showing you what he's got here. And you know what? I feel like if I'm MPG, right, kind of a young kid, on the come up as of the last few months, yeah. really getting his name out there. This is like fighting sensei. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And there's definitely a little bit of an intimidation factor that comes with that. You know, you're like, oh, I want to prove to the world that I can tangle with the best Mega Man. And not only that, but also that I can bring other characters to the table that can deal with a multi-character specialist like this guy. Yeah. And again, we actually don't see the Kamehameha Sora. 
Good. Yeah. Not sure why. No Sheik and no Sora. And those are, again, two of those characters where people are really uh, kind of polarized on whether they believe in them or not. I'd say Sora, I'm a little less sure on. Sheik, absolutely not. Um, but, you know, that said, I'll yeah. probably get cooked by a good Sheik. Yeah. And we're getting the Mega Man Ditto. Let's go. Okay, this is huge. And it might be a preview of if these guys meet in singles bracket. I did see Kamehameha tweet something. It was in Japanese, and I just hit translate tweet, and it didn't really come out all that good because, you know, Google Translate. Right. does not really do Japanese justice, particularly. Yeah, yeah it's um, just a bit of Japanese. But what? it had MPG in the tweet in English, oh. which is what caught my eye. And I think he said something like he doesn't want to fight MPG or like something is going to happen if he fights MPG. I don't remember exactly what it was. Yeah. Like three in the morning as I was drifting off. But, you know, this player is on his radar, which is really cool and probably like a, yeah. a win for MPG mentally. Yeah, definitely noble. If, like you see like the person like known for your character, like giving you shout outs or like saying your name. Mm -hmm. Definitely, like, big ego boost. Yeah, and this is a ditto that probably neither of these guys play all that much. The character's kind of rare. And also, it's just like, I don't want to say a boring ditto, but it's definitely a slow type of ditto, yeah. right? You got these lemons and stuff, but Mega Man can get scrappy, too. Yeah, they, they try to wear each other off. All right, so far it's been Kamehameha getting the better of these early exchanges, though. And the first stock, all right. And with this main out right now against the Sora, which is, again, a character that Kamehameha is going to be very familiar with. I'm not sure how much I like MPG's odds here. Yeah, but he does have the, the loops right there. All right, finishing it off. And if he can just close out the stock, that will be the play a big portion. Oh, the snipe. All right, switch it through. Can you land this finishing blow, though? That's the question. Kamehameha not going to fall for the trump. Oh, the down smash that almost broke his shield. Yeah, that down smash, it, you just don't want to challenge it at all. It's a really good move. Oh, OK. Blizzard into up air. There we go. Gets rid of the Mega Man without bleeding out too much. And that's huge. Yeah. And now we have the Pirate Mithra. And this is where it gets kind of hard, because this is where Kamehameha had a lot of damage from before. Right, this is, you want to talk about pick up and play characters. Pokemon Trainer, nowhere even near as yeah. easy as Pyro and Mithra. Yeah, no, this is my pick up and play character right now. Right, I'll tell you that as a Pyro and Mithra player, bro. Yeah. I got no shame in it. That's a commentator's character. <laughs> <laughs> that, that boy. Oh, oh my god. Yeah, it just almost lost the stock right there. That down air is massive for Pyra, if you do not know. Yeah, and I feel like all you got to do is see it once, and then you'll probably know. <laughs> oh, okay, MPG, he's dropped almost every single loop, and it looks like it's almost there. The ideas are there, but just a little bit off in the execution. Yeah, and so unfortunate, because now you're on your PT, the last character, and potentially the last character of your, like, bracket life. Yeah, this is losers, folks. First and only losers match of our block here. Winner, I believe, will be going to top eight or at least one round closer to it. And yeah, we've already got some of our winner's side top eight decided. Yeah. All right. I like to switch back the up air from Ivy. Gonna do massive damage, but not gonna take it. And this is where PT struggles, just on the ledge. They struggle to get off. Yeah, Ivy Star has that one mix up that everybody uses. <laughs> you know, the first yeah. time they're on the ledge, it's gonna be that drop off vine whip, but it does not work on Kamehameha. He's seen that before. He's not going to fall for yeah. it. What is it? The meme? Oh, you're not going to know. Right. They're, <laughs> they're going to know. <laughs> yeah. Player like this guy, he certainly will. Yeah. Ooh, I like the usage of Blazing End so far from Kamehameha. He's just kind of using it as like, not so much a zoning tool, but like a get off of me tool. Yeah. And a mid-range neutral tool. Yeah, he sees like MVG like dashing back and forth. So he's like, okay, you're, gonna, you're in your dash animation, so I'm going to catch you doing it. But managing to close it out with the Zard F tilt, and can we get a semblance of beast? Like, Zard, just right, ability to right. like, do back throw? I'm gonna be real, like, if this is beast, I think PT's in the lead right yeah. now. <laughs> it gets so scary. Oh, we went for the grab right there. So, I like the solid play from Kamehameha. But we're gonna see it right here. Yep, this is a heavy boy right now. Okay, forward throw, not the one that's gonna lead into some ridiculous stuff. Yeah. <gasps> But if you're gonna back throw by the ledge, yeah. oh! Yeah, this is getting really hard. No way! No, no oh. way! He caught it. Oh, oh my! Oh my Bro. god. Bro. Bro. MPG, you die with your honor intact. That was godlike. 
If that worked, man, yeah, I don't even know what I would have said. Yeah. I would have probably like gotten banned from commentary for life. Yeah, MPT is a real one. That was insane. Yeah. Yeah, that, that was God. Like, you know what, man? If you're going to go down, go yeah. down swinging. That's what I like to say. And that's how I like to play, too. Yeah. So shout out to MPG for that one. If you're not a fan of the kid, you should be a fan right now. Exactly. All right, guys, we're going to be wrapping it up, though. I hope you enjoyed the squad strike action. Of course, we got a little bit more for you coming up very soon on the main stream, correct? Yeah. Uh, uh, no? I believe yeah. so. Oh, on this main? stream. All oh, right, so stay right here on VG Boot Camp 3 if you love some squad strike. Of course, pull up the squad stream yeah. if you want to watch all three of them at once. But, oh, we're going into phase two of ultimate singles now. So, you know, kind of the cream of the crop, yeah. right? We separated the weaker players from the stronger ones. Guys, the action's only going to heat up as the weekend progresses. Of course, we got final Sunday tomorrow. Oh, my God. So keep it locked on VG Boot